I'm Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. We're here at this gorgeous NoHo7 theater here in Hollywood, California. We're here celebrating the premiere of so many amazing films. There are 31 films opening here today, including Toy Story 4 and Child's Play, and 29 short, remarkable films that also have an opportunity to actually get entered for the Oscars, for the Academy Awards. How amazing is that? That this awesome place is giving a platform for filmmakers. It feels like the dream is just so close to these filmmakers. You know, you're just one step away and we're so excited to be here today, including the filmmakers at RNF's Maturing Youth, which is actually screening here today. And not only is this an opportunity for the filmmaker that's just beginning, this is also opportunities for filmmakers and Broadway producers and authors of amazing creations of illustration and poetry and story and wow, there's just so much talent in there tonight. I can't wait to get in there and interview these guys. We'll have an opportunity to talk to Derek Quick of Four Walt Distribution Company. So guys, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Janet Miranda and I'm here with News and Entertainment here at the gorgeous Lemley North 7 Theater in North Hollywood, California. I'm here with some really special guests today. Can you tell us, can you tell the world your name, please? Charlene Cooper Cohen. Charlene Cooper Cohen. And Dr. Marty Cohen. And Dr. Marty Cohen. So I got the Cohens here, guys. We got the Cohens and they're going to bring us some information about what it is that they do. And you are a... A medical doctor by background, but shifted into business. Shifted into business. International business. Amazing. And can you share a little bit about what you do? Yes, I'm a native Los Angelian. I grew up just a few miles from here. My father was born in California, Los Angeles, and he and his brothers were all in the picture business, early Hollywood, tele Hollywood film and early television. And I was a novelist of seven internationally published novels, uh, mostly about strong characters, primarily women, facing unbeatable odds and have to overcome these conflicts in their lives. Amazing, and I can't wait to read your novels. Can you share with the world some of the names of those novels? The Day After Tomorrow, Love, Sex, and Money, The Ladies of Beverly Hills, Marital Affairs, uh, lives of Value and Innocent Gestures. I can't wait to read these novels. I mean, anything about empowering women and just how they overcome things is awesome. Yes. What made you write those great stories? Well, I married my high school sweetheart and he died at the age of 30 of cancer and left me with two little girls in debts. And I kind of kept telling that story over and over in various ways. Oh my, God. my husband and I, my second husband and I have been married 47 years. Amazing. And you guys so, are such a cute couple thank together. You. Thank you. And you were saying that your husband actually helps you build some of the characters, right? Yes, he does. Right? Yes, he does. With I've your... learned to really trust him. And he's learned along with me about structure and conflict and story. And he's become excellent at it. And with your psychology background, you can really help understand the behavior of the, of the, the motivations, characters. why people do things. He's very good with detail. Excellent. Amazing. And how great is that to have your husband in your corner supporting you as you, you know, just totally thrive. He's always in been industry. my best support. Right. Always. Amazing. Always. And your dad, you said your dad produced some films as well. He produced early movies for Columbia, Paramount, RKO, and Perry Mason was his first television Amazing. series. Yes, and my Uncle Jules produced and directed The Three Stooges for 35 years. Amazing. And so your father you, put Sinatra in his first movie. Yes. Right. So you're basically following your family business in filmmaking. In a way, I'm actually a theater person. I write and produce musical theater mostly. Amazing. Can you please share with us about your theater experience? Is this Broadway theater in New York Both City? Both Broadway, California, London, uh, Australia. Australia. Amazing, what an empowering woman. Please do share, what is some of the musicals that you've produced? My first musical was called Sheba. It was a love story between King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Amazing. It was produced in New York. Wow. And then I wrote a musical called Stormy Weather about Lena Horne. Amazing. And it's broken box office records. I just love the song Stormy Weather <laughs> with <laughs> Lena Horne. I mean, she just can totally like go from total baritone to soprano. It's amazing. Yes. Incredible transitions. But getting back to your musical. <laughs> uh, an Officer and a Gentleman, I turned it into a musical. 
Was there a new gentleman? Oh my God, that's bringing back so many memories. Yes, isn't it wonderful movie? Amazing, amazing. Yeah. amazing. And? Wonderful love story. We, I produced it in Australia. It was just produced in the United Kingdom last year, 22 city tour, and we're preparing to have a, a United States tour next year. Oh my God. So I you'll mean, see it, watch for it, An well, Officer and a Gentleman, where, the musical. Where can the world find some of your work? Do you have a website that I you do, have? CharleneCooperCohen.com. Charlene Cooper Cohen. Cooper Cohen.com. Yes. Well, we can't wait, but before we go, can you just also tell the world what it is that you're doing here today? Yes. My dear friend, Sushil Bibbs, who's chairperson of the Living Heritage Foundation, oh, I'd love which to hear a little she bit started, about that. has made a documentary about the Higher Sisters, who were the first two well, they were African-American sisters who toured the country and entertained in the 1800s, late 1800s. And they were the first of their kind to go out in the world of any race and entertain on the road. Dream, 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 dream. It's a story of, of hope. You can achieve anything. I have a dream, 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 dream. Do you have a dream, dream, dream? Anna, I am so looking forward to our interview. Oh, but we had a dream. The opera? Yes. Dream, 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 dream. But the dream was not to be. In the 1880s and 90s, when night riders and lynchings terrorized black people, and black-faced minstrels ridiculed them across the land. The first African-American women to succeed in touring opera stood up to become voices for freedom. Be inspired by Voices for Freedom, the Hires Sisters legacy. can't wait to see that film. Yes, it's a challenge. I mean, I'm so excited about being here, and what a good friend you are to be here to support her. Well, I love her very much, and she started this wonderful nonprofit organization of which the film is part of, so can we're you, very supportive. Can you tell us a little bit more about the organization? The Living Heritage Fund uh, raises money and gives stipends and honorarium to uh, writers, performers, singers, uh, theater professionals, mostly African-American, who do product production about an unsung African-American performer. Wow. But that's the niche. We also support African-American performers who need a small stipend to go, say, to Europe and do a show because they're invited to perform in their top opera stars. Amazing. But th it doesn't include their, their flight, so we'll help give, you know, put money towards their flight or their hotel or just small amounts. I mean, that's so incredible. What you're doing for the world of art is incredible. I mean, there's so many people that are trying to make it, and for you to be there to actually give them a platform to be able to succeed that way is just totally incredible. Well, Living Heritage is one of four nonprofit boards that I sit on. Can you share a little bit about the other ones? One is called a Moss Musical Theater. We just celebrated our 50th anniversary in business. 50 years in business, folks. Of doing diverse theater musicals casting them diversely, gender, no bias. And that was 50 years ago before anyone knew the word diverse. Mm -hmm. And that's one, then there's Living Heritage Foundation. And then I'm on the board of the National Italian Trust of Italy, where we preserve and protect the antiquities of Italy. I mean, listen, I have to say, you are like the total definition of hashtag women in film. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and does that make you proud that you are like Very not, happy. not Very just creating, but us. providing platforms yes. and support yes. to other people? Well, they just honored me with a, with a, an, a, an award at my uh, nonprofit Amas Musical Theater. And that was a lifetime of achievement, and so I was very honored. It's the first time, and I didn't know that I would ever be honored for just giving back, but I guess so. And great for inspiring people. Folks, I'm Janet Miranda, coming in with News Entertainment. Really, really honored to be here with you today, and I can't wait to come back. In the meantime, folks, check us out at www.newsinentertainment.com. See you soon.
If you want the smooth blenders and you want all the juicy stuff, subscribe, follow us. The links are below. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, and you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news and entertainment.